G'day, it's Heath here from PickandLessons.com. The new rig ship. This is a great tune to play on the Mando. You've just heard me playing along with the guitar and a finger style and a banjo version all mixed together with this Mando there on top. Uh, they work great together. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the Mando break. Uh, there are two variations in the arrangement. So we've got sort of the basic version of the melody and then we've got a more uh, advanced version that has more variation in the picking. So to start us off here, we're going to have a look at both variations for part A here in this video. So we'll look at the basic version first get to know the melody, then we'll introduce the variations. And it's just a subtle variation that makes the tune perhaps a little bit more interesting, but also a little more challenging to play. So we'll check that out in a moment. Pickandlessons.com, you better grab yourself a copy of the tablature that we are working from, plus we'll break down the B basic and the variation and the C basic variation as well uh, in the member section. You'll also have a backing track and a play along track that you can download there. So pickandlessons.com. But let's start off now with our slow playthrough of the basic part A melody. We'll break down the basic techniques that we need and then we'll introduce the variation that we can then mix in with how we play the basic version. One, two, three, four. Okay, basic part A. Firstly, we're in the key of A minor, we're in the Dorian mode. Uh, it does modulate in, in part B though into A major, then comes back into that minor Dorian, A minor Dorian uh, in part C. So we move around a bit in the tune, that makes the tune really interesting actually to the ear. So part A though, that basic melody, we find ourselves opening up in this position here, we'll then change down to our kind of standard open position. Uh, we've only got four measures to look at to start with. We repeat that, and that gives us the eight measures for each section. So let's jump into this basic version. Uh, we're in 4-4 time, it is a reel. Two pickup notes, two, three, four, and one. So watch out for those pickup notes there. Picking is gonna be pretty much standard following downstroke on the quarter note and down up on the eights for this basic melody. So from the pickup, we would have one, two, three, four, and one. First finger, second finger is how I go about that, putting us in a position here to cover the G, the A, and the B notes. That B is on fret seven. Our melody to begin with in measure one uses those notes. So the A, fifth fret, up to the B, down to the G, open E and G. So those first three fingers work nicely in this position. Let's watch the picking there. So really basic, but down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just following the eighth note rhythm. We do a very similar thing in the second measure, except with a pickup note, change hand position. Uh, this change in pickup note there into the next position. So that first finger, second fret on the F sharp. Second measure. First finger shifts from that third fret to second fret position. Uh, third measure. We stay there, second finger, third fret on the G. Finishing it off over the D chord, this D. Arpeggio there, F sharp to the D note. Two pickup notes leading back to that repeat. So our first finger is gonna capture that third fret G. So we can then jump into A and then the B as the melody repeats. So two hand positions, starting out first finger on the G and then we shift so our first finger is on the F sharp. And shift and then the finishes off, we play it twice. So make sure you get used to just repeating this section. Uh, the second ending on the repeat, the alternate ending is going to be slightly different leading us to part B. We'll check that out uh, in the next lesson, but do get used to repeating part A to begin with. So there's the basic melody. Let's move on to look at the variation of this melody. So uh, we're gonna have the same pickup notes, same melody structure essentially, same hand position, but our picking is gonna be a little different variation of rhythm essentially. I'll just play that basic and then into the advanced. So basic melody. Advanced. So you can hear it's the same melody structure. We're not adding any notes in there essentially, but what we are doing is bringing in this um, 16th note rhythm variation. And so let's have a look at how we pick that. Pretty much from the first measure of this variation, we come into this one and a two rhythm. 
T, tick a T is another way we could count it. But basically, eighth, two sixteenths, and then an eighth. Picking hand, down, down, up, down. We've got to change the speed to cover those sixteenths. That's the challenging part, as you may have noticed. It moves through those notes pretty quick. So this first measure in part A is really where we want to sit for a moment. Notice the picking hand, down, down, up, down, back to regular picking. So once we've finished off with the uh, sixteenths, the quick two down ups, we just go back and do our down up for the eight. So down, one and a two and three and four and repeat. So you do have to change the speed of your hand. So we're changing our, our, our hand speed to accommodate the two sixteenths, but then back to that just eighth note down up movement. So really important to get that right initially. So that first measure of this variation, ready and. It can help to kind of just tighten your pick grip a little bit at that moment. So that your pick kind of moves through or moves across the string uh, without too much flex between your fingers. The flex is okay for certain rhythms and certainly acceptable for the regular down up at this tempo but as I'm speeding up I'm finding that personally I'm just grabbing that pick a little bit tighter to stop the amount of flex between my fingers of the pick. That can certainly help. Just to help sort of get across that string for those quicker 16th notes. I would do that kind of twice but with the variation to the first fingers changing position just as we did before. Uh, measure three here though. We have another variation of melody with a hammer on from the F sharp to the G, but then the 16th with the down up down. Reverse though, uh, to E and or tick a T. So that third measure there, measure 18. Back with the turnaround. Same as before, uh, so that hasn't changed. So the variation basically brings in some 16th. We've got a hammer on passing note there in, in the third measure along, but really, it makes it for a little bit more of an interesting sound to the melody, but it's absolutely fine to play the basic version too. They're just variations of each other. Uh, the second variation just happens to be a little bit harder to play. But really, it doesn't mean it's any better. It's just different and it is more challenging to play. But the basic melody is just as nice to play as well. So that's okay. You can stick on that one too. Okay, so work on both of those. Uh, I do get used to the variations. You can chop and change as you wish as well. There is no set structure of this. You might play the first basic A variation twice and play the variation on the repeat. You might go one basic, one advanced variation together. So you get the, the two repeats of A, but with different ways of playing it. It doesn't really matter how you go about that. That's really up to you once you get to know the tune. All right, now head on over to pickinglessons.com. We're gonna do this for both B and C. So we'll break down the basic melody, look at the variation. Uh, we'll do that together in the next video in the members section. Uh, and you'll also got the tablature and the backing track and play along track. So pickinglessons.com, I'll see you there.